Europeans are trying to combine themselves again because they can't cope with USA beating them at the Olympics. Which one is it, Europe? Accusing Americans of thinking Europe is a country or combining yourselves together so you can actually beat one country? So for starters, there's about 50 countries in Europe, so that's 50 times as many entries and 50 times as many opportunities to medal for Europe compared to the USA, which only gets one per competition. Because here's the thing, that's how the Olympics work. Every National Olympic Committee gets a spot, and every single event has three medals. So Europeans could potentially get bronze and silver and get a medal, while Americans get gold, for example, in both men's and women's basketball. And technically, the Europeans have more medals because two different countries won those medals. If you were one country, you'd only have one opportunity to medal. But you know what? There is an example of a certain American institution that if they were in National Olympic Committee, they would have way more medals than you. And that's the NCAA. The NCAA is the greatest Olympic training institution in the entire world. At the Paris Olympics, 272 former, current, and incoming NCAA students combined to earn 330 medals for 26 countries. The medals list competed in 21 Olympic sports and represented 90 schools and 22 conferences. Of the medals earned by NCAA ties, 127 were gold, 95 were silver, and 108 were bronze. So here's the thing, Europe. We don't only beat you at the Olympics in the medal count. We actually train many of your best athletes. So we're training our own competition and we're still beating you. And fairly easily, to be honest. Now, if you guys really want to claim that you're better than the Americans at sports, why are you coming here to train? Like maybe take an ounce of pride and train back home instead of coming to America to learn from our coaches, use our facilities, and use our sports science.